93, 94, 95. That's 200. And it broke at 200. <laughs> Hello, Slick Dealers. Today I'm gonna decide which paper towel brand gets you the best bang for your buck. And here's why I felt like this video was important. Do you ever get frustrated with how confusing the packaging is on products like paper towels? Six equals 12, six equals 18. No, six equals six. That's basic math. What fantasy land are you living in? I can't just say a cheeseburger equals two cheeseburgers. That's not how the world works. What are they comparing that to? What's the standard? I feel like this is ultimately just a bunch of confusing numbers designed to convince you that their product is better than the other guy. And it's frustrating because if you're like me, you wanna get the best deal on paper towels, but they make it almost impossible to figure out. I'm standing on that aisle for like 15 minutes trying to understand just how many sheets one roll of paper towels has. So I got a little fed up and decided to grab all the top paper towel brands for Walmart as well as the generic and pit them against each other head to head to decide which brand provides the best overall value for what you get. We've got a few tests lined up to show you how well each works for basic stuff, but first a quick disclaimer. If you happen to make a purchase through any of the links below, Slick Deals may get a small commission off of that. So let's price these suckers out. We've got Bounty, Great Value, Scott, Sparkle, and Viva. First, I'm looking at pricing, and here's the thing that gets me. Vendors can't seem to make up their mind on how to quantify the value of these items. You go to Walmart's website, for instance, and you see pricing, but half the prices show a price per roll, and then one is priced for square foot, and then the last is price per sheet. That's so confusing, so I took the liberty of pricing these all out for you the same. Price per roll with a six pack, and then rank them by price per sheet. Here's the list, and keep in mind, this is pricing via walmart.com, so your mileage may vary if you're shopping at a different store. Sparkle comes in first at a price per sheet of less than one cent. Second place goes to Scott at just a bit more, but still less than one cent per sheet. Third is Great Value at 1.1 cent per sheet. Fourth place is Viva with one and a half cents per sheet. And the most expensive is Bounty at just a bit more than one and a half cents per sheet. So you see what they're looking like in terms of price per sheet, but what do you get for those prices? I mean, you could try to sell me something all day long, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter how cheap the prices are. So let's test them out. First test, the spill cleaner test. With three different liquids, soda, ketchup, and honey. Fun fact, honey is literally bee spit. This test is designed to get a feel for each paper towel, to see how well they hold up and wipe away annoying spills. Sparkle won last, so it gets to go first. All right, you guys, first up is generic cola. And we're just gonna fill this beaker up and, and spill it just all over the place. Is that enough? And we're gonna do one paper towel for each. So, oh gosh, we gotta make sure this gets it, up, gets it all up before we, okay. Wait. You can tell overhead there's still some left over after that wipe up. Okay, next up, we've got some, you know, some catsup. And you're at home and you're eating french fries and then, oh no, it gets everywhere. Oh, what do I do? You, you rush for your, your sparkle paper towel and you only grab one because you're a frugal person, obviously. And is this gonna wipe it all up? Oh, it got most of it, actually. That's, that's, that's not bad. That worked? Yeah, heck. Okay. Yeah, and next up, honey, because everybody uses honey nowadays to sweeten up their, their tea and coffee, but what happens if it gets all over your table? Oh no, I gotta use my paper towel to clean it up. <laughs> this is actually, this is gonna be bad. I know that this, yeah, oh, okay. Is this gonna work? <laughs> this just feels like glue. Am I getting it though? Yeah, it's, it's tough, but uh, it's working, kind of. It's still sticky. Like, I, there's nothing, there's not really a whole lot you can do with that. That's Sparkle for you. It did a pretty good job, aside from the honey, but honestly, I don't think that any of them are gonna survive very well with the honey. All right, you guys, next up, we've got Scott. Everybody's favorite brother is also paper towels. Oh, uh, that's like right out of the gate, kind of like a like a bad news for, for Scott. I feel like that one's not really gonna hold up super well with the strength test. Uh, okay. But you know what? That actually got most of the liquid. There's still some left over, but it got most of it. Sometimes you like to make a mess, oh boy! But lucky we've got Scott to the rescue. 
Is it gonna get it all? Me, me and my, me and my must use only one paper towel to clean up every mess. Tell me in the comments, are you the kind of person that just like goes for 20 paper towels anytime there's a mess or do you just grab one and you're like, I gotta see if this can pick up all of this or not. And then finally, honey. This is, <laughs> the honey is just bad news all over the board, everybody. This is, it's funny. You know that it's not gonna come off the table. That got most of it. That could have been me though. Great value is third, you guys. Walmart's. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can you see, can you see that? Real world mistake, oops. I am chaos incarnate, everyone. All right, so we've got the, the beaker test with the soda for great value. Better clean this up. Oh, is it gonna get it all? Not super scientific, but so far, great value has been the most absorbent for the spill test. Catch up. Can I get it? And with great value, you can. This is just a bad idea. Whose idea was this? Who's making me do this? Everybody knows, honey is just not gonna clean up well. Oh, that's gross. I didn't get it, but none of them have gotten it so far and it kind of makes me feel sad and gross. It, it was the first one to kind of get a pass for the soda test. Viva! We got some soda for Viva. Oh no. Clean it up now. Okay. Wow, that's pretty much a, a, a pass for Viva. Viva got it. You gotta clean that up. And, oh, oh, well that's not super great. And Viva, you know, is the only one that's like actual like cloth paper towels. They have a consistency that is not like any of the others. Next up, we've got honey. Okay, so we're gonna try to clean that nastiness up. Ooh, I say Viva comes in second on the honey. Last up, we've got the quilted quicker picker upper. Bounty. Gotta grab a bounty. Okay, okay. I would say that comes in third. Have you seen that kid on Vine? He's like, I gotta restart my potatoes. <laughs> the ketchup spill. Bounty cleans up the ketchup mess, just like all the others. Woo! We're gonna do a smiley face on this one. Ooh, that, that looks less like a smile and more like a cringe, which, which is relevant. Ooh, yeah, that squeaking sound. Got it, that actually did a pretty good job. Still got, it's got some residue left over on the table of both the paper towel and the honey, but it did a decent job. All right, you guys, so after doing the spill test, which is largely focused on user experience, these are my rankings. Sparkle is fifth, Scott is fourth, Bounty third, Viva second, and then Great Value was the winner. Next up, we've got my favorite test, the Strength Test, and since Great Value won the last round, we decided it would go first. Here's what we got going on. We've got a square bowl with one sheet of paper towel, we've got one half a cup of water to wet the paper towel, and we've got quarters to weigh it down until it breaks. So let's do this. We're gonna start with one roll quarters. That's 40 quarters. Now we're gonna do individual quarters. This is 41, 42, 75, 76, 117, 118, 149, 150, 160. So as you can see, great value is very strong. We couldn't actually get it to fail until we applied force to a drop on quarters. And each time that happened is when the great value paper towel broke. All right, second on the list is Viva. 83, 84, 85. That's a tear. The quilted quicker picker upper. I feel like I have to say that. Okay, we're gonna start with Two quarter rolls, 93, 94, 95. That's 200. And it broke at 200. 
All right, I guess he gave in. There's bounty for you, 200 quarters. All right, next up is Scott. 84, 85, 86. Oh, starting to tear. 87, 88, 88. Last on the list is Sparkle. 50, oh, it already tore. 51, 52, 53. 53, but it actually tore on 49 initially. After testing the strength with the paper towels, here's what we found. Number one, great value. It comes in at number one with a seemingly limitless durability. We put hundreds of quarters on one sheet and it would not give. Second was Bounty right at 200. Third was a tie with Scott and Viva. Scott had 88 quarters before it tore. Viva gave out around the same amount, but it was very close. And last was Sparkle with only 53 before it totally broke. See, prices and everything. Sometimes the slightly more expensive options cost more for a reason. So how would I rank these after going through all the tests? Well, if we structure based on points with how they've performed in all three tests with the lowest overall score as a winner, here's the results. And interestingly, I don't have to move any of their positions. Coming in last is a tie between Sparkle and Viva. Sparkle definitely feels like a budget brand and Viva has a premium feel, but all things considered, they round out the bottom. Second place is also a tie between Scott and Bounty. Despite the differences in price, I'm not surprised they performed overall similarly. They've always felt like comparable brands to me. And that means number one goes to great value. The generic brand wins in the consumer test, hashtag not scientific. <laughs> we tried our best to consider all the most relevant details of the average shopper when we were testing these out. And these are the results. We were genuinely surprised and impressed with great values performance. I will say, I have a preference for one of these brands and it did not win. So this video has actually been helpful to me personally, and hopefully it was also helpful to you. Please subscribe for more videos on how to shop smart and leave us a comment telling us what you wanna see tested next. I'm Pete King, see you next time.